guys, welcome back to another video, and today, in this episode, we'll be playing some more Red Dead Redemption, and what we'll be doing in this episode do is we'll be doing, um, as you can see on the radar, um, another mission with Bonnie McFlan, and we'll be doing our first um, mission with um, Marshall Johnson, Johnson over in um, Armadillo, and um, yeah, let's just get right into it. So just making it over to Bonnie's house, and um, there it is. Ah, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland, how are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies, and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. Okay, so we are getting in the wagon and we're riding to Armadillo. Okay, so... You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard. So, so we're driving our first wagon in Red Dead Redemption. It's fairly easy to drive, to it's just like driving a horse, but just put a wagon on the back. Um, so we're making it all the way over to uh, Armadillo. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really Okay, so I just, um, it's gonna really keep driving over about. there. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are getting a lot more closer to um, Amadillo. It's pretty close up this mountain. It's in hot desert. That's where Amadillo is. There it is, over there. You just see it. And we're gonna make it over there, and then after we've done this mission, we'll be able to go see Marshall Johnson over there as well. I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Mr. McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Okay, so we're nearly there. Just making it into Armadillo. Here it is. And uh, we're going to be able to... I think take some supplies. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Okay, so we've got to go to the doctor's office. And this is the guy who saved our lives, so we're going to make it in there. Right, talk to the doctor. And, and this is the buying system. You can sell stuff, and you can also buy stuff. And um, how it works is basically this is medicine, but if I had actual money, I would be I would be losing that. But this one is for free because she's given it to she's just paying for it. Any meds, laudanum, adrenaline, and now we've got to go. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. 
You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Okay, so we have um, completed this mission, and I just want to show you what the gun stars are like. So this is a gun star right here. We can go inside it, and we can just talk to the um, guy. And these all have prices. I can't afford any of them right now because I have no money whatsoever. So we're gonna do the first um, um, Marshall Johnson, Johnson mission. So we're just gonna go over to him. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> <laughs> Shut up, you. And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. <coughs> I did. Apparently so. <coughs> Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come what, you, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. Dickhead. What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. 
Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. The saloon's this way. Okay, so we're gonna have to walk over to the saloon with um, Marshall Johnson here. I've got my repeated carbine. Bunch of two bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. And we're just following him over to the saloon, um, which is right about here. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folks. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. There's the dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Okay, so we've got to follow this guy. And um, we're going to need to get a horse first. He spotted you. Stay on him, boy. There we are. It's just come in. Can't lose that trail, boy. Catch up with me when you can. There we are. So we've got to go follow him. And he's going to lead us over to um, his... I think it's over in a mountain a house, and um, we've got to go to, uh, and then um, we've got to go kill all these bandits. And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. He'll be telling me what I need to know. Walt gang's been growing fast. Outlaw is easy money for easy work. Okay, so we've just got to keep following him. He'll be somewhere around this mountain, and we'll be able to find him. Because he won't be um, too far away. And I think, yep, there it is. Whoa there. Looks like we got company, boys. <laughs> We'll work our way up this hill. Over here, we'll okay, so we've got to go and kill him now. So I've got to make my way over to this cover. There we are, took one down. And um, we can pick up his gun, and I think we can um, loot his body as well. Get some repeat ram up. There we are. Now we're just going to make it over here, where we'll find him. Oh, it was cops. And get some money. There we are. And I think he's inside here. There we are. I think I can loot him. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Okay, so we've just killed them all, and we're just going to go inside this house, see what there is. Because a lot of people, when they do this mission, they like to forget about... Um, all the good loot inside here, because we can open this chest. Of 
Got some revolver ammo. Whoa, it's a bed. I was gonna get it. But um yeah, those were the last two missions done guys, so um, thank you guys for watching. Um I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all later. Bye.